Hey everybody, Joe here. I just finished assembling five boxes of Shatterpoint minis. We've got the uh, Fearless and Inventive, Fear and Dead Man, Ichiwama, Yub Nub, and the Lead by Example pack. So I just wanted to share some things I, you know, thoughts and tips I had. Most of these were pretty straightforward um, when it comes to Leia in the Fearless Inventive. I thought the helmet ended up looking a little too big on her head. That's probably to scale, but it just seemed sort of like big head mode. The more interesting thing to me was you get the choice of her holding a blaster or a thermal detonator. Um, in this hand, the staff is mandatory. I would have preferred if I could, you know, put a gun in her right hand and hold a thermal detonator because thermal detonator is kind of intrinsic to the the theme of this particular character, but I, I went with the blaster because mechanically she doesn't have any abilities that use the thermal detonator and blaster is cool. With Lando, I also went helmet off, you know, helmet off, they're about to throw down. Um, one thing I wanted to point out, I wasn't planning on wearing, giving him his helmet, but if you do, the face mask bit on the sprue snapped off as I was removing it just to put in my bits box. Um, so be very careful when removing the face mask portion of Lando's helmet if you're intending to use it because it's very fragile because it's very thin and it's its own piece. Um, I don't know if the assembly instructions for Fear and Dead Men and Fearless Inventive were not on the website, which is weird. Nothing out of the ordinary here, although I do recommend giving your Vader the vent base to really go with the kind of updraft happening. Alright. Now we got Ichiwama. Leia had the uh, alternate head sculpt option. The interesting things I found here is that Papalu is standing on the wreck of a speeder bike. But I feel like it's a little out of scale, so if you want, if you have an extra one from Legion, you could probably throw that in here, and it's going to be bigger than this one, um, which might look a little better. I didn't mind, but it is not quite to scale. And then, so we've got the the Bow Ewoks, the uh, Trappers, I think they're called. This is the standard layout. This is the default... Um, pose for them and a lot of these little like tree bits on all of the Ewoks they were a little tricky to figure out you just kind of got to I don't know might have just been me but I had to work with them a little bit to figure out where they were supposed to go and how their feet um, these ones are pretty straightforward these ones had a little bit more issue tr figuring out where they kind of locked in so there is no alternate pose option for these either of the big Ewoks so you're gonna have to get a little creative so I rearranged the positioning of the trees and the Ewoks here to you know make them a little bit more distinct from one another same with these guys so we've got 3PO, low gray Wicket. Um, I had a little extra wood from one of these guys that I just threw in Wicket's base for more scenery. So this is the default build option for these guys. See this guy is kind of tucked into his back. There's a peg coming out of his back that locks him into that tree. So with these ones, I do have a very tenuous connection here, because I wanted this guy just leaping off the tree. And this guy, I straightened out his legs, so now he's in sort of a come-at-me-bro pose. But they definitely are now um, two very distinct-looking uh, minis here. There was nothing um, kind of fiddly or worth noting with these guys. Very cool sculpts. Um, I might end up putting some basing paste on this one too, or the mud. Like, I covered all of these with mud just to kind of smooth over these connections between, like, the scenery and the base. Um, so 
might do something like that for the wolf pack. Ahsoka I've already assembled. I have something special in mind for this mini. You'll have to stay tuned to see what I do with that. But I just wanted to let you know, watch out for Lando's mask. And you're going to need to be a little crafty if you want to mix and match the Ewoks outside of the default pose. Other than that, I had a blast putting these together. So many new minis at once. Gonna have to figure out who to paint first. Pro it's gonna either be these guys or the Ewoks. I don't know. I'm excited to try them all. Thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please be sure to subscribe. If you don't like this sort of thing, uh, have, a have a nice day. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!